Ah. That was cool. <laughs> so that's Mr. C. He's made it his mission to get children and families excited about learning, and he's here today. We're excited to welcome Mr. C to the Living Dayton today with some hair raising science, and he brought me a lab coat. It fits kind of. Yeah, it looks and, sharp. Uh, thank you. And my own goggles, so I'm ready. So I'm guessing we might get messy today. The hope is we do get messy. More that's importantly, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes learning science fun. And okay. we have to protect the baby, and that's why we have the oh, lab coat on. Okay, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yes. So what we're doing today is we're taking a an activity that a lot of us have seen and done a Diet Mentos geyser using Mentos and Diet Coke. I've seen that once or twice, yeah. but not like this elaborate. You have like a whole thing here. Tell us about this. So I did this a little differently because I wanted to protect the equipment in the studio, right? Okay. And so what we have going on Thank is... Thank you for that, by the Absolutely. Way. We've taken some uh, C PVC pipe, which is uh, able to be used with drinking water, etc. And we've built a fountain so it comes up and it comes out. And we have these six little ways for the soda to escape. Okay. Because what's happening is inside of this bottle, we know that it's carbonated. Right. And so we have all of this carbon dioxide that's in there, that's squeezed in there. So that's what creates our fizz. And that fizz is what makes it yummy in your tummy, right? We love that little sensation. Yeah. But this guy, Mentos, the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. <laughs> See, you Sorry. know, we, I mean, this is not rehearsed. Absolutely. The Mentos, what they are, they're layered with 40 layers of sugar. And so these microscopic layers and layers and layers, and they form divots, right? And these little divots are called nucleation sites. Okay. And so it allows the carbon dioxide to grab onto those nucleation sites because that carbon dioxide wants out. So See, this is cool because I've never actually heard. I've just seen somebody drop a thing in a Coke and, and then it, it's like, yay, look at it. But you actually tell us the real reason that it happens. Yeah, science is amazing. And we're doing this here today to really inspire kids and families to do more science at home because okay. science can be done everywhere. And the world around us is amazing. Well, let's do it. Can All we, right. I want to make sure we get to it. So inside here, we have our mento. Okay. And we have these magnets with these little balls here that are going to hold it. Okay. I'm going to have you pull the magnets apart. There's it's two of them. Two? Yep. Okay. On the other side. And then it's going to go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Can I drink this? Can you drink it? <laughs> it's Cinco de Mayo. That's why I brought it today. Grab, <laughs> grab a cup. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. It's just Diet Coke. Uh, delicious, scrumptious. That was really cool. Yeah, so it's fun. So this is a demonstration. You can turn it into an experiment by trying different number of Mentos, maybe trying different sodas. You know, we use diet soda today just in case it got too messy. It's just not sticky. So oh, we can, that makes sense. yeah, absolutely. No, this wasn't too bad. And you, you built this. So, I mean, you could also go and buy, build your own if you wanted to. Yeah, probably up for six or seven dollars. We have this little demonstration that we can do at home and have a lot of fun. Um, I want to make sure we get in your YouTube channel and, and you do all of this and kind of show kids stuff. So this is great for parents to tap into. Here's a little bit of video of it. Yeah, so here I'm actually doing some elephant toothpaste using hydrogen peroxide and using yeast as the catalyst. And what's really cool about that is it creates an exothermic reaction. And what we're doing is the hydrogen peroxide, once it hits the catalyst, creates oxygen. And okay. so the oxygen is captured in the bubbles. And that's why we put the soap in there so that it actually captures it. And this was the first time I did this. And I did it off the fly, just off the cuff. <laughs> and it just started pouring over. So we're going to be makes doing it fun. It, yeah, and that's what science is all about is learning, having fun and really just trying to investigate the world around us. Yeah, we loved having you here today. That was a whole lot of fun. Thank you for showing Absolutely. us that. People can find your YouTube channel and yep. find you there. Yep, check out learningsciencesfun.com. Very cool. Thanks for being here today. And Thank thanks you. for this getup. Absolutely. <laughs>